Welcome, everyone. We're going to wait a few minutes here just for people to log in. I'm Gwen. Hello. <laughs> and this is my friend Molly. She's going to be doing the yoga class with me today, and I'm here to guide you. Um, and we're just going to take it nice and easy. We'll start out kind of soft and slow. Uh, this is a yoga pod two class, and it is an all levels class. I will give you variations and layers and different things to do to modify and or intensify. Let's all go ahead and begin. Why don't you face the front of the, of the uh, camera. Let's begin today with a meditation. So begin in any upright seated position that feels comforting and comfortable to you. If you have blocks or bolsters or blankets or anything that you'd like to use, Feel free to use your own props throughout the class today. We're going to begin with a mindful meditation to kind of hone in what's going on in our culture and our community right now. That is a healing meditation. So we'll begin in any other upright seated position that you like. You can close your eyes gently and begin to continue to close your eyes over and over and over again until you are no longer wishing to see out into the world. Just come into your natural breath. And be aware of what you may be thinking and feeling, processing at this moment. So much of our yoga is about self-awareness. And come into that self-awareness now, knowing that you are receiving this correspondence through divine intervention. And take a minute just to notice your natural breath. Not forcing or changing anything. Just simply allowing. And they say that at least a minimum of 10 full breaths will calm and soothe your nervous system, reduce insulin and cortisol levels, release and relieve the fight or flight response. So I'd like you to come into at least 10 full sacred breaths right now. And as you breathe, I'll be speaking to you, guiding you through a meditation. But at least do these 10. If you want to release and let go to a natural breath after these 10 breaths, that's fine. Or you can continue with a big belly breath. Maybe a deep inhale through your nose, if that feels comfortable to you and maybe a falling out breath, opening your mouth, releasing any stress and tension. So as you breathe in, breathe in light and love and goodness and energy and health and well-being. And as you exhale, release any stress, any tension, any anxiety, worry, fear, apprehension, or depression. So as you continue to breathe now on your own, imagine a white golden healing light above you, surrounding you, penetrating down upon you, bathing you, caressing you. This is a white golden light of healing. Bring this light into every aspect of your being, mental, emotional, psychic, physical, cellular, energetic. And feel this light healing you as you breathe in and out, as it bathes you and caresses you. Aligning yourself with this healing light. Knowing that in this moment you are exactly where you need to be and everything is as it should be. Find this breath and take a moment. I'm gonna offer up a mantra to include with your breath in and breath out. If you have any other mantra or saying statement that you would prefer, do this on your own. My offering is this, breathe in, I am, which is a hum in Sanskrit, a hum, I am. And breathe out peace, shanti, shanti, shanti om. Breathing in, I am, breath out peace. 
breathing in I am, feeling the white golden healing light surround you, caress you, heal you. Breathing out peace, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti Om. I'll leave you in silence for about a minute to complete this on your own. At any time you feel tension arising, breathe into that space and then let it go. So much of our practice is mindfulness. Here and now you are healing yourself. You are claiming your own. And you are raising to a higher vibration. Just about 20 more seconds. Come back to a normal, natural breath. Bring your hands to your heart space and pray. Take a moment to set your intention for practice this evening. And whatever that may mean to you, what do you choose to practice? Not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, energetically. Why have you come to your mat at this moment? Know why you're here. Ask your higher power for whatever it is you need. Ask for support and guidance, love, compassion. Take a full breath in. Hold the long breath in. Good. Again, another big full breath in. Open mouth exhale. We'll begin our practice with an opening om to invoke all of the essences, all of the spirits, all of the guides, all of the angels, all of the wholeness that we need. Take a full breath in. In this moment, all is well. Let's go ahead and begin our practice in child's pose, devotional pose. Bring your big toes together, spread your knees apart or together. Snuggle your hips back to your heels, reach your hands forward out in front of you or behind you, palms up. If you'd like to roll your head side to side, feel free to do that and meet out any tension in your brow. And just take this moment as we prostrate forward, we bring our head beneath our heart in honor of our heart, in honor of our soul, in honor of the divine within us. To get out of your busy thinking, contemplating mind, Get into your breath, get into your body, breathing in aham, I am. Breath out, shanti, peace. Breathing in aham, I am. Shanti, peace. Take two more breaths here. One more breath. Knee downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shanasana. Curl your toes underneath of you, peel your hips nice and high. Your heels work their way earthbound. It's okay if they don't touch. Feel free to move here in walking your dog, crouching tiger, twisted tigers if you'd like. And as we work with this downward facing dog, first check that your second toe is turned to the top edge of the mat. Heels again work their way towards the earth. Lift your kneecaps, pull your pubis bone to your lower ribs. Press firmly through your palms and check that your middle fingers turn to the top edge of the mat. 
hollow out gently through your armpits. Take a big full breath in and open mouth exhale. Inhale, forward to a high plank. Stack your shoulders directly over your wrists. Tone through your navel. Pull your pubic bone to your lower ribs. Again, to engage your lower back so you don't sink through your spine. Take a full breath here. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Bent knee or straight leg. Prepare for rolling cobras. We'll do three of these. Lightly touch the mat. Intimidation cobra off the mat if you wish, or hover your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway here as high as you can, but relax your lower back and your legs. Exhale, chest and chin down. Beautiful. And again, inhale, lift up, maybe an inch or a fraction higher. Exhale, lower down. Beautiful, Molly. And again, inhale, halfway lift. And release. Curl your toes underneath if you plant your palms. Take a breath in. Exhale, lift up to high plank. Take a breath through neutral here. Exhale, lift up to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take in another big full breath through your nose. Aham, I am. Breath out, peace, Shanti. Again, breath in, aham, I am. Breath out, peace, Shanti. Inhale, shift forward to a high plank position. Stack your shoulders over your wrist once again. Bent knee or straight leg chaturanga. We'll be doing a little bit of each today. First, straight arm. Good, beautiful, Molly. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Turn your toes underneath of you. Point your toes like a ballerina. Pull your pubis bone to your lower ribs. Drop your shoulders down your spine. Now take a big breath in. Exhale, lift up to downward facing dog. Take another centering breath, aham, I am. Breath out, peace, shanti. Inhale, raise your right leg high, one-legged dog. Exhale, knee your nose, shift your shoulders forward, puff up through your upper back. Inhale, one-legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, lunge, right pinky toe to your thumb. Inhale, straddle, forward fold to the left of you. Now we're gonna do a mandala series today, so it's gonna be circular. You're gonna be going through all elements of the mat here, all directions, east, west, north, and south. If there's a movement here that you'd like, if you need to bend your knees or twist or sway, feel free to do that. All the while, breathing, contemplating, acknowledging, connecting. Aham, I am. Shanti, peace. Bring your hands to the mat. Inhale, flat, long, extended spine. Exhale, turn right. Lunge to the front of your mat once again. Take a breath through neutral. Exhale, double leg forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift or devote with an ass. And our hands touch earth, shin, or top of thigh. Flat tabletop spine. Take a breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, reach up, raise your hands to the sky. Exhale, baby back, then heart lift, anchor your tailbone down. Imagine you're reaching back and leaning back over a big human size beach ball. Back of neck stays long, jut your hips forward. Inhale, Tadasana Mountain, aham, I am. Exhale, forward fold, shanti, peace, peace, peace. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to mid chaturanga. You choose how to get there, walking or jumping. Bend knee or straight leg. Cobra or up dog. And we'll meet back in downward facing dog. I would like you to please take the position that feels best for you in the chaturanga. Maybe you maintain plank. Maybe you go straight to downward facing dog. Maybe you drop to your knee. Inhale, raise your left leg high, one-legged dog. Square your hips, tone your navel. Exhale, knee to nose, puff your chest. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, lunge, pinky toe to thumb. Inhale, straddle to your right. You'll be facing away from the camera. Inhale, halfway lift. Falling out, breath forward fold. Now add in any lunges or twists that you'd like. We'll be here for about two, maybe three breaths. Feel your heart lean forward. 
Drop through your head, neck, and shoulders. Relax any tension you may be holding in your upper body. Feel the big release and stretch through your hamstrings. Bring your hands to the mat. Inhale, flat, long, extend your spine. Exhale, turn left to the front of your mat, lunge. Take a breath through neutral. Exhale, right leg to meet left. Inhale, halfway lift. Aham. Breath out. Shanti, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, baby back bend. Make this a heart expansion. Feel it from the back of your heart to the front of your heart. Let it be meaningful, courageous. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Always bowing with honor as you bow your head beneath your heart in honor of your heart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to mid chaturanga, either walking or jumping. Bent knee or straight. You can always maintain plank like Molly. You do not have to do the chaturangas if you have any shoulder injury. You can always modify your up dog and your cobra if you wish. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to move through our mandala series now. Inhale, raise your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, hovering tightly. Inhale, one-legged dog, pull away. Exhale, right knee to outer right elbow, shoulder, keep your left hip up, engage your core. Inhale, one-legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, wide, low runners and lunge. Take your foot to the outside of your right pinky finger. Dial your toes to the right diagonal of your room so your hip and groin are open. Inhale, reach your right hand towards the sky and shift your gaze to your fingertips. Adding in wrist and finger circles here. Release. This is the act of letting go. We're not holding on to tension. We're not holding on to worry. We're non-attached. We're letting go. We're releasing. Feel that fluidity. Feel that flow. Inhale. Reach a little higher. Twist a little deeper. Exhale. Skandasana. Lunge to your left. Creep and crawl your hands between your thighs. Bend your left leg a lot. Right leg will straighten. Skandasana to the right, right leg will bend, left leg will straighten. Big stretch through your right and inner and outer thigh as well as your left hamstring. Listen carefully, inhale, turn to the left, lunge to the back of your mat. Stabilize your lunge, knee over ankle, belly over thigh. Inhale, rise to crescent lunge. Pause here, turn your tailbone under. Rotate your pinky fingers in, relax your shoulders. Feel the sturdiness of your legs as they engage equally. Inhale, re ex uh, airplane crescent lunge. <laughs> Couldn't get that out. Airplane crescent lunge. Launch your upper body over your lower body. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, reach up, hands high, one knee mountain. Right leg will lift. Pause here as you engage your core and flex your right foot. Exhale, step back, airplane crescent lunge. Inhale, one knee mountain once again. Exhale, airplane crescent lunge. Inhale, one knee mountain. Well done, Molly. Inhale, one knee mountain. Exhale, figure four, Utkatasana. Flex the toes of your right leg a lot. Keep your hips nice and low. Inhale, shooting star, right leg off to the side. Pause for your exhale. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, baby back bend, heart lift. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold, always with love, always with honor as we bow. Inhale, halfway lift, open through your heart space. Exhale, chaturanga or plank, demonstrated by Molly. Cobra or up dog, your choice. 
We'll meet in downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now take a centering breath, aham, I am. Breath out, peace, shanti. Inhale, raise your right leg to the heavens. Exhale, knee to nose, hover tightly. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, lunge, look forward, step through. Use your gut to get there. Difficult transition, listen carefully. Inhale, warrior two to the front of your mat, all the way around. Take your time to establish the posture. Check your left knee, bring it over your heel, back to your pinky toe. Right sort of foot parallel to the back edge of the mat, lift up through your right arch. Shoulders stack right over your hips, long extended hands and arms emanating energy from the back of your shoulder blades to each fingertip. Inhale, reach forward towards the front of your mat. Exhale, left arm down, extended side angle pose, little to no weight in your left arm if you can. If you need that support, maybe a little bit of weight into the left arm. Now, if you have no shoulder injuries, reach to the front of your mat with your bicep down by your ear. Molly has some shoulder restriction. She's reaching straight up. You choose the path. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Stay with the bend in your left knee. Separate your left rib from your left hip. Reach to the rear of your mat rather than up to the sky. Find the arc through the left side of your body. Take a breath here. Exhale, cartwheel vinyasa. Again, either high to chaturanga, plank, cobra up dog, or downward facing dog. Take a centering breath in, aham. I am. Breath out, shanti, peace. Inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, hover in tightly. Inhale, left leg extends. Exhale, left knee to outer left elbow, shoulder, keep your right hip up, try not to sink. Inhale, extend your left leg high, one-legged dog. Exhale, wide, low runner's lunge. You take your foot to the outside of your left hand. Turn your toes to the left diagonal. Open up liberally through your hips. Inhale, extend your left hand to the sky and shift your gaze upward. Adding in our wrist and finger circles. Again, this is the act of letting go, of releasing. Inhale, reach up, twist a little deeper. Exhale, skandhasana to your right. So you'll creep and crawl, facing away from your computer or whatever your device is. Pausing here, if you would like to add in a little bit of movement, feel free to do so. Continue to breathe and be conscious, awake, connected. Skandhasana left, bend your left leg, right leg will straighten. You'll feel the stretch behind your right leg and knee, also to your inner and outer left thigh. Lunge to the rear of the mat, all the way around. Check your knee, bring it over your ankle, belly off your thigh. Try to have fingertips. Inhale, crescent lunge, Anjani Asana. Dial your left hip into your right groin, turn your tailbone straight down. Turn your pinky fingers in and relax your shoulders. Take a breath in, aham. Exhale, airplane torso, peace, shanti. Reach with your collarbone, press back with your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, one knee mountain, ekapada tadasana, left leg up, arms over the crown of your head. Flex your foot a lot, lift your kneecap. Exhale, airplane crescent lunge, step back and release. Inhale again, one knee mountain, left leg up, navel engaged. Exhale, step back, you're doing beautifully, Molly. And again, inhale, one knee mountain. This is your last one. Exhale, figure four, Utkatasana. Your left heel will be right above your knee. Flex the toes of your left leg a lot. Don't be shy, stick your buttocks out. Send your sit bones to the front of your mat. Inhale. Shooting star to the left, pause for your exhale. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, baby back bend, heart lift. 
Inhale, extended mountain, aham, I am. Exhale, forward fold, peace, shanti. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, side-legged chaturanga, or plank, or dog. Never forcing anything. Honoring where you need to be on the mat, where you need to be in this moment, here and now. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your left leg high, one legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, hover tight. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, lunge, look forward, step through. Use your exhale to step through. Beautiful step through, Molly. Inhale, warrior two to the front of your mat. Take your time, establish the posture. Right knee over heel, back to pinky toe. Left sword of foot parallel to the back edge of the mat. Shoulders stacked right over your hips, arms long and extended, energy emanating from the backs of your shoulder blades to each fingertip. Inhale, reach forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, extended sun angle pose, little to no weight in your right arm. If you have no shoulder restriction, reach your hand over the crown of your head like Molly is doing on this side. No shoulder restriction on this side. Reaching, look underneath your left armpit. Inhale, reverse your warrior, stay with the bend in your right knee. Engage your inner thighs, feel the reach of your right rib, separate from your right hip. Exhale, cartwheel vinyasa, and that's the basic template for the mandala flow. I hope you're enjoying the flow out there. We're going to go through it again. I'm going to be adding on quite a bit, I'm doing things just a little bit differently today under the circumstances. Inhale, reach your right leg high, one-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, outer right elbow, shoulder squeeze tight. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, wide low runner's lunge off to the side. Inhale, right arm high, maybe a little bit of a wrist and finger circle. Inhale, reach up a little higher, twist a little deeper. Exhale, skandasana lunge to your left. Skandasana lunge to your right. Lunge to the rear of the room. Inhale, crescent lunge, Anjane Asana. Exhale, airplane pose. Inhale, one knee mountain, right knee lift. Exhale, airplane crescent lunge. Inhale, one knee mountain, right knee lift. Exhale, airplane crescent lunge. Step back, big bend in your left knee to get there. Different this time, inhale, right knee high, Ekapada Tadasana. Exhale, airplane warrior three. Keep your right leg elevated. Now, if this is not in your practice, step back to the right foot. Keep your heart lifted, left hip down. Shoulders hip height or higher. Inhale, one knee mountain, beautiful. Exhale, figure four or eagle, Garudasana, whichever is in your practice this evening. Whatever you feel like, you do. You do you. You be in this moment, breathing in, aham, and breath out, shanti. Inhale, shooting star, pause for your exhale. Inhale, extended mountain, reach your hands high. Exhale, baby, back bend. This is a heart lift. Be, it, be there with your heart, not just your mind, your heart. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold with honor and love and devotion. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to mid chaturanga. You choose where to go. Maybe you hold plank, maybe you go to dog. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg high, square off your hip. Exhale, step through lunge. Inhale, warrior two to the front of the room. Exhale, extended sun angle pose, Utita Parsva Konasana. Inhale, reverse your warrior, adding on. Exhale, half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Lift up and away from the mat. Now, if you have a block, use your block, preferably at the lowest height. If you can reach your hand to the mat or the floor, beautiful. We want to work towards bringing your shoulders beneath your hips. Lengthen your side body. Kick up through your right extended heel. Take one more breath here, aham. And breath out, shanti. Inhale, reverse your warrior, I am. 
Exhale, cartwheel, chaturanga, peace. In this moment, you are peaceful. In this moment, you are centered. In this moment, you are receiving gifts from the gods and the spirits and the higher realms. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Continuing on to the left side. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, maybe no cover touch. Inhale, one leg is up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, shoulder squeeze tight. Inhale, one leg is up. Exhale, wide low runner's lunge. Be liberal here, be open. Inhale, left arm sweeps to the sky. Maybe your wrist and finger circle. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Inhale, reach a little higher. Exhale, skandasana to the right. Let's allow your body to move fluidly. Skandasana to the left. Feel the shift, feel the wave. Lunge to the rear of the room. Establish the stance. Inhale, crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana, rise. Exhale, airplane torso. Squeeze through your shoulder blades. Inhale, one knee mountain. Exhale, airplane crescent lunge. Big bend in your right knee, step back. Inhale, one knee mountain. You're doing beautifully. I can just feel it out there. Exhale, step back, airplane crescent lunge. I can feel you guys, I can feel you. Inhale, one knee mountain, stay strong. This time's different. Exhale, airplane warrior three. Feel it, be it, warrior three. Warrior three is about being free, being strong, being the warrior in battle, but being free, courageous, upright. Inhale, one knee mountain. Exhale, figure four, Utkatasana, or eagle, Garudasana, left leg will cross over right. You can do left hand or right arm underneath. Different schools of thought, different choices. You choose what works best for you. Don't forget to breathe and stay mindful. Connect with your intention, connect with the mantra, Aham Shanti. Inhale, shooting star, left leg off to the side, pause for your exhale. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, baby back bend. Again, a heart expression. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, folding, always with honor, always with love. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to chaturanga, or plank, or dog. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, raise your left leg high, one legged dog. Exhale, lunge, look forward, step through, use your gut to get there. Inhale, warrior two to the front of the room. Exhale, extended sun angle pose, reach to the front, front of your mat if you can. Inhale, reverse your warrior, and we're adding on our half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana, take the launch, lift into it. and elevate your left heel up. Roll your left shoulder over your right. Roll your left hip over your right. Lengthen and elongate through your side body. Breath in, aham. Breath out, shanti. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Big bend in front leg to get there. Land lightly. Good job, Molly. Exhale, cartwheel, vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. And for time's sake tonight, we'll just go ahead and start to close our practice with one another. Inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon posture, left shin forward, right leg behind you. Inhale, puff your chest, lift your gaze, look down your nose. Exhale, forward fold over your left shin. Now, if you want more intensity, Parallel your shin to the top edge of the mat. Otherwise, you can work your left heel closer to your midline. We're going to really allow ourselves to rest in this posture tonight. Contemplating within. Looking within. Forward folds afford us this inward attention. Close your eyes. Relax your body. The hips are known as the storage depot for stress and tension. We're, this is where we are hiding our anxiety, our tension. This is where we don't know what to do with a lot of our emotions that we're all experiencing lately due to the current circumstances. 
Let your body emote. Let your body feel, flow, and be free. Let some of this energy move from you. I'll leave you in silence for about a minute. Aham. Shanti. I am peace. Peace is within me. Peace is my birthright. Peace is who I am. Peace is my future. And slowly begin to lift and rise from this position. We'll meet in a seated a spinal twist, Ardha Madhyendrasana. We'll bring your back leg all the way around to the front of the mat, to the outside of your left thigh. Plant all five toes down. Now, if this is not accessible to you, bring your foot in front of your knee or shin. Bring your right hand before, behind you like a second spine to support you. Inhale, reach your left hand high to the sky. Stay square to the top of your mat. Exhale, twist and turn to your right. Now you can reach around your shin or elbow to outer thigh, you may be even able to do a bind. But this is a rinsing and a cleansing. This posture is very good for detoxifying, letting go. Feel your spine like an internal bathing, an internal shower, rinsing out any tension and toxins. Counter twist opposite direction. Keep both sit bones rooted. If you have a variation that you like or prefer, do it. Now we're moving into a kind of a tricky transition here. We're moving into sleeping Vishnu Anantasana. Follow my guide and follow Molly's lead. Roll down onto the left side of your body. Begin to straighten your bottom leg out like you're standing on it in the mountain. Bend your right leg and bring it in towards your armpit and shoulder. With your groin open, reach to your bottom of your knee or your shin and hug in tightly. Now begin with peace finger and thumb to big toe. Extend your leg up towards the ceiling as high as you can. Now if the knee does not want to straighten, don't force it. You can always reach to your ankle as well. Remember, it's almost like a balancing posture on the floor. So your bottom leg is very, very straight. Your spine is long. Your hips are stacked. Your shoulders are stacked. Take a breath here. And as you exhale, roll on to your back. You might have to wiggle a little bit back onto your mat. That's fine. Keep your right leg up towards the sky. Straighten it up. Reach up towards your ankle above your knee. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, bring your head, neck, and shoulders up towards your thigh. Use your core strength to lift your upper body. Use your hand strength to lengthen your leg. Now feel the stretch, be in the moment. Exhale, lower down, shoulders to the mat, bend your right knee, prepare for supine spinal twist. Inhale, bring your right inner thigh against your right outer rib. Exhale, guide your right leg across your body to the left. Open your right arm to T or cactus and look over your right shoulder. Again, another spinal rinse, a letting go with the twist. Aham, Shanti. Aham, I am Shanti peace. In this moment, I am peace. I feel peace. Just allow yourself to let go. starting to calm down and cool down, beginning to bring your gaze and your awareness inward, something known as Shvadhaya in Sanskrit. So inward reflection, inward self-study. Come onto your back, bring your knees into your belly, give yourself a squeeze. 
curl into a tight ball if you'd like. Begin to rock and roll, rock and roll along the length of your spine. That should feel really good. And just rock up to assisted boat. Bring your hands underneath your hamstrings and lift up. You can do regular boat as you extend the arms forward in front of you. Bend your straight leg. Bring the back of your heart forward to the front of your heart. Engage your core. Know how strong you are right now. Know that you're getting stronger as we speak, as we talk, as we breathe. Low boat, 6 to 12 inches from the mat. Dig in deep. Look to your navel or your knees. Take a big breath here. Exhale, lift up. Bend your knees. Plant your feet flat to the mat. Walk or jump back, Chaturanga. Coming into Downward Facing Dog for the series on the left side. Inhale, raise your left leg high. Oh, excuse me. We already did the left leg. Let's just go back to the right. <laughs> Exhale, half pigeon posture. Lengthen your left leg behind you like a, like a spine, like a tail. Lengthening, elongating. Inhale, lift and ch your chest and puff your upper back. Exhale, forward fold. If you're feeling like you're hanging, take your block or take your fist one on top of the other and rest your brow on your fist or your block. That should help release some tension through your upper body. And just release, sink. I don't usually use that word in yoga, but for now, sink into the posture. Let gravity assist you. Feel your hips open, let energy flow. Remembering that the hips are the storage depot for stress and tension. They're the junk drawer of our body. Doing this five to 10 minutes a day will help you move through any emotional crisis that you may be experiencing. I highly recommend it. Breathing in, a hum, and breath out, shanti, peace. Peace in this moment to every sentient being, to every living being, to every plant, organism, person, space. Peace to the world. Peace to our planet, peace to suffering, peace to those who are joyous. Imagine our planet now involved in an enveloped in that white golden healing light, still penetrating down upon you, healing you, soothing you, bathing you, caressing you. And begin to lift and rise. Seated spinal twist, Ardha Matyandrasana. Left leg will come from behind you. Wrap around to the outer right thigh. Plant all five toes down. Plant your foot flat if you can. If this is not acceptable, bring your foot in front of your knee or shin. Bring your left hand behind you as a second spine. Inhale, right arm high to the sky. Keep your hips and shoulders square for now. Exhale, twist towards your left from your rib cage up. Relax, let your head receive the posture. Try not to force it with your head. Just allow your body to unwind, to twist out of negativity, of worry, of fear. Counter twist opposite direction. Gentle release through your spine. Chin level to the mat. Try not to force anything. Moving into sleeping Vishnu Anantasana, our tricky transition for the day. Roll on to the right side of your body. Straighten your legs like you're standing on them like mountain pose. Bend your left knee. Open your groin. Bring your knee in towards your shoulders. Reach to your, opposite, reach to your left 
shin or knee, squeeze in for compression. Now, peace finger and thumb to big toe. Inhale, extend your leg as much as you can. Remember, you don't have to have a straight leg. You can always grab your ankle, you can always grab your calf, or you can keep your knee bent. Bottom leg, right leg is extended as if you're standing on it. Hips and shoulders are stacked as much as you can. Take a breath here. Exhale, roll onto your back. Keep your left leg nice and long. Reach up through your left ankle above your knee or below your knee, just release the knee. Exhale, chest to thigh, side to chest. Again, using your belly strength to lift up through your torso. Using your arm strength to lengthen and straighten your left leg. Exhale, roll to the mat. Bring your knee into your belly. Prepare for supine spinal twist. Vishasra Parivartanarsana. Left inner thigh to the outside. Left rib, inhale. Exhale, left leg across your body to the right. Gaze to the left. Left arm is out to T or cactus. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable. And just release and relax and melt into the postures. The postures are magical. Sometimes just getting into them and holding them and feeling them is all you need. The magic will reside. The miracles happen as we move through our postures. And just allow yourself to feel and know that in this moment, everything is peaceful. Everything is as it should be. In this moment, you are safe. In this moment, you are guided. So much of our practice, mindful, emotional, not just the physical. It all comes together. It yokes together. Hence the word yoga, union, connection. Go ahead and come onto your back. Hug your knees into your belly. Give yourself a squeeze. If you want to curl into a ball, do so. And take a moment or two right now to come in any other final postures. If you are someone who likes a back bend to end your practice, you can place your hands together. Press your knuckles towards the front of your mat. Otherwise, you can keep them extended. If your feet do not touch and plow, bring your hands to your lower back to create a ledge. Wherever you are, breathing in, close your eyes, a hum. Even if that's all you do, a hum. I am, I am, I am. I am, I am here, I am on earth. I am on this planet, I am a human. I am compassionate, I am forgiving, I am loving. Aham, I am Shanti, peace, peace to all, peace in body, mind, breath, heart, and spirit, peace pervades, peace pervades. Take a couple more moments here, a few breaths, and then when you're ready, come out of whatever final posture you've chosen this evening. Remember, you do you, that's the most important thing. And let's go ahead and go into Shavasana. We'll have a nice long Shavasana this evening. And I'm gonna come into that meditation again one more time for you and then I will be quiet and I, I hope I'm not going to lie about that and still keep my mouth open. <laughs> but I'm gonna try <laughs> not to talk. Um, anyway, come into your Shavasana here in any position if you've got bolsters or blankets or pillows or anything that you'd like. And just rest, just rest. We all need a rest. Maybe this event that's happening worldwide is a call to surrender, a call to slow down, a call to start recollecting, contemplating, assessing what our lives are, why we're here on this planet, what our path is, what our truth is. So take this time of restfulness on the deepest level that you can for yourself, not just your body, but your mind and your heart and your spirit. 
Just release and let go. And even though your eyes may be closed, keep closing them again and again until the backs of your eyes open and you gaze into your heart and let the external world disappear. And feel free to stay in your Shavasana, or you can rise up for meditation if you'd like. I'll be guiding you through the white golden human light meditation visualization once again. Imagine the sphere of magical, whimsical, white golden human light above you, filled to fruition with love and goodness, with peace and comfort, and goodwill, harmony, serenity. This light loves you. This light is here for you. This light is pouring its love down to you right now. There is no aspect of your being that this light does not touch, even your shadow side, even the dark side, even the worried side. This light is here to love you, to fulfill you, to guide you, to support you, to bring clarity and direction. Breathe in this light. Feel it moving through you to every bone, every muscle, every tendon, every ligament, every fiber of your being. You are bathed in this light of love. This light of love.
शांति शांति आहम शांति 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 ओम पीस फॉर एवरी लिविंग बीइंग एवरी सेंटिएंट बीइंग एवरीवेयर एट ऑल टाइम Feel free to stay longer in your shavasana or meditation if you're at home. For those of you wishing to close your practice, go ahead and bring some gentle movement to your fingers and toes if you're in shavasana. If you're in meditation, just maintain and focus on your breath. Perhaps those ten full breaths in once again. Those of you in shavasana, take a big full breath in. Actually, everyone, take a big full breath in. And then a falling out breath is a breath with a sigh and a release, letting go. Again, breathing in, ha hum. Breath out, shanti, peace. Really feel it this time. Don't just think it. Feel it. Breathing in, ha hum. Your whole being, I am. Your whole being, shanti, peace. Begin to sit upright in any comforting position. Bring your hands to your heart space and pray. Mali di man se sing di. Thank you. Take this full breath in. Give thanks for your practice. We here at Yoga Pod are here for you. We're sending out our love, our well wishes. We're sending out our prayers, our light. Our service is to you. If you need anything, please feel free to contact us at Yoga Pod. We love you. We miss you, and we wish you well always. Namaste.